Uh, hey guys, what's up? I'm Palak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational videos focusing mainly on studying, working and living in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in today's video, we have Asma with us. She completed her bachelor's in mining engineering and at present she is pursuing water engineering from TU Berlin Elguna campus. So she is here to share her experience uh, so that you can know if you want to come to Germany to pursue this course or not. So let's get started with today's video. Right. So Asma, welcome to my channel. Could you quickly uh, introduce yourself to the viewers? Okay, uh, I'm Asma Hamdurmanan from Egypt. Uh, my bachelor uh, was in mining engineering from Cairo University and then I have started uh, a preparing year in master program in Cairo University and then I had this opportunity to to Berlin campus in Guna and then uh, yeah I'm here now it's my second semester uh, and I hope to to proceed in two years complete my thesis okay great do you require to give any IELTS or TOEFL exam uh, of course it was required uh, for some uh, application for scholarship but for me I just uh, give a certificate from the uni to, um, to prove that I have all my courses in the uni by, in English and I have both these courses in English so I can uh, take courses in English. Okay, so, yeah. Great. why did you choose this particular course? Okay, uh, I don't know if you know about Egypt but Egypt is, um, has uh, a very big problem with water uh, not just uh, wasting water or uh, or not waste management uh, especially with waste water uh, we have underground water it, which is has really big problem and uh, not good quality of drinking water and a lot of this problem that's why I'm, we're I'm very interested and in mining engineering I talk uh, many courses related to water uh, in underground water or uh, wastewater treatment or environmental engineering in general and uh, yeah I, I think I was interested uh, at the beginning in environmental and then I have changed it to uh, water engineering okay great why did you choose to study in Germany uh, it was my uh, long life dream so come on it's Germany yeah <laughs> this quality of education quality of life and uh, if you want to be uh, some one of the best engineer you have to come to Germany Germany is engineering uh, that's why I'm here uh, and um, it was really good good opportunity to to see another culture another international environment it's, I think uh, many many countries have the same issue like Egypt it's so local compared to uh, your country or, or US for example yeah. okay. what are the admission requirements for your course in TU Berlin Okay, it is like the general uh, requirements like um, transcript, graduation certificate, uh, English proof, uh, IELTS or TOEFL, or like I did. Um, you will have uh, two recommendation letters and uh, work experience. Um, if you have a volunteering work or uh, student activity, you have to to prove that, and it helps by the way, uh, too much in scholarship. I think that's all. that's all. Do you have to apply via uni assist or directly to the university? No, no, directly to the university. Uh, I think most of the uh, master programs the same. The different from to PSC and uh, okay. masters. Since TU Berlin is a recognized and also world famous university, so mm -hmm. I think there will be many applications each year. So. Uh, do you know how many students are accepted each year? Not more than 100. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, they are very selective, especially okay. in this program. Yeah. What are the course fees? Because as per as I know, it's a paid course, right? Yeah, and it's really expensive for me. Yeah. It is uh, two, uh, 20 thousand euro. But actually, I think most of us has a scholarship, partial or full. That's why. Okay. What is uh, so special about this course? Uh, the exchange program. Uh, to have a semester in Egypt and a semester here in Germany. Um, 
you know the the Guna campus is really 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 well organized really new and uh, everything is you know, the equipment the the PC pool and all of this is really new and uh, well organized somehow and uh, this is good you, you will feel um, comfort and then uh, you come here in Germany to have all of this special uh, life and special education uh, unfortunately I'm suffering with coronavirus but okay I according to the the last the last years it was was really good to yeah. have the same thing and uh, if you are Egyptian or you are from like country like Egypt uh, India for example you will feel that uh, lonely because Egypt is will take you at the beginning and you feel you are home and then you go to German yeah. it's uh, really nice it's like barbering uh, semester it was really okay. good. which modules and courses do you study uh, in this course uh, actually you take a lot of courses uh, at the beginning you take uh, courses like uh, hybridic hydrology and then uh, you take hydro uh, hydrogeology and uh, you take uh, wastewater treatment water supply and sanitation and uh, hydraulic engineering water transportation and uh, uh, water biology uh, applied hydrogeology uh, yeah and you take uh, courses uh, like intercultural communication mm -hmm. and uh, scientific writing and uh, this course was really nice we take uh, GIS what else? Water chemistry, of course. Uh, that's that's what I take till now, and uh, we will take uh, excursions and uh, water sub sanitation and supply to water management. We have like internship. It is like a course, and it has like six credit hours. And then uh, you have your master's thesis. Okay, great. And what kind of lab facilities uh, do you have in TU Berlin or uh, Elguna campus? We have a large uh, chemistry lab and it really will equip with all of this stuff uh, with like uh, COD measurement, BOD measurement and uh, chemical experiments like uh, I think you, yeah. you know it of course and then uh, we have uh, water sanitation uh, lab and we have hydraulic uh, engineering lab it's, um, with this lab you can sim simulate the, the wave mm -hmm. and uh, the wear, the dam and so on. Uh, we have the PC pool for GIS. This lab you can use them for course to, to another because you, in water biology for example you have to make some experiment with bacteria and, and you can do this in a chemistry lab. So, okay, yeah. good. And uh, what softwares do you learn during uh, this course? Uh, we have uh, IPANET, it is for water network, and we have uh, GIS, and uh, we take uh, um, like a semi-program course to, to simulate the, the uh, environmental hydraulics course uh, with NET. Oh yeah. Okay. The course is quite uh, uh, multidisciplinary, so uh, students come from everywhere, right? Yes. And so they all have different skills and uh, different education Background, backgrounds. Exactly. So uh, which uh, software or which skills do you think a student should have before they apply for water engineering course? Uh, I don't know, but it, it is really uh, in water engineering, we already take courses which prepare us. Already, uh, if you have a background, it will uh, help you a lot. Like we have civil engineer, we have chemistry engineer, we have mechanical, mining, and uh, a chem chemist. We have a chemist uh, in uh, this course. We have uh, public health. Okay. Uh, so it is really uh, have a lot of diversity. But uh, of course, if you uh, actually, if you compare with uh, GPA. Civil engineer uh, and mechanical engineer, chemi uh, chemical engineer is, is really good. You have this background. Of course, if you have uh, um, GIS experience, it's really important. Programs in, in engineering is important. So uh, for me, I, I know AutoCAD, I know 3D Max, okay. and if you know a lot of programs, it helps. 
just not for the course it's for yourself to yeah. to present your skills in in good way so we also have the option to choose an elective in this course no uh, but we take uh, there is a nordic network in this um, network you can take uh, that like i ha i have take summer school it is an extra course with six credit hours with uh, data science and artificial intelligence related to urban mental development and we have a lot of uh, spring school and uh, it is really uh, not not even in uh, German you can take it in Norway or uh, Poland okay. and it's really related to TO Berlin uh, you can take uh, a lot of experience a lot of uh, new courses which are not related uh, to your course and you can get uh, now to another university which can apply for thesis after that so okay. it's really good network uh, i think nordic great how are the exams conducted uh, written exams mcqs oral exams presentations so what forms of exams do you have uh, it depends uh, like um, most of them was written exam in Alguna, but here we have oral exam we have like presentation uh, in um, scientific writing and uh, we have report or assignment uh, in interculture yeah i think we have all all type of exams and uh, these presentations and uh, everything are they graded or are they just pass or fail exam for scientific it was just pass or fail but we have already courses called presentation skills okay so they teach you how to present they teach you how to to improve your idea it's really good okay. yeah like, how difficult is it to find an internship uh, for your course uh okay um i can't um, i can't express it now because of the, the current situation is so not not expected but according to the other patch we have excursion. It is one month excursion, um, and all over the uh, Germany. We travel to every water work in in Berlin and uh, in other side in Germany. We have uh, IFAT. It is a conference which have a lot of company, and then you can have a contact and you can have an internship. Actually, I have uh, many friends which uh, in seniors which got an internship in, in a good company and even they make uh, make their thesis in this company afterwards okay. I hope I can uh, have this after everything uh, go back to normal yeah okay thank you so much Asma for this detailed interview and I wish you all the best for your future thank you and uh, I hope you like the video guys if you have any further questions then you can leave them in the comment section below and i or asma will try to answer them and uh, yeah if you like the video then give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel so uh, that's it for this video guys see you in the next video take care and stay safe